I'm joined here by Park Avenue head coach Danny Whitaker following 3 2 home defeat to Lancaster City. Danny, commiserations. A strong showing from your side today and almost disbelief that they're coming away with nothing to show for it. Can you share your emotions following that game? Well, it's exactly that, really. It's sheer disbelief in terms of, of what's gone on, um, being in a very, very good position. Firstly, getting, getting ourselves in a great position is the, is the most pleasing thing to see, especially after last week. So that, that shows the, they've got a bit about them. And I'm thinking, you know what? It could be our day today, the way things are going. But obviously, it wasn't meant to be. Um, bitterly disappointed, especially with the goals as well. Again, it's, it's a common thing. We speak about it every week. Every week we're going over it in, in the analysis on a Tuesday with the lads stressing the importance of getting bodies around the ball, competing, closing the opposition down and making it difficult for them. I thought we were lucky first half. We gave too many corners away and long throws. Having to defend that many, it's only going to breed pressure and percentages you know, will go through the roof in terms of the opposition getting chances. So we address that at half-time, but we go out and you know we, we concede can see the sloppy goal from the corner, which wasn't a, a well-worked corner or anything. So that's the most frustrating thing. Yeah, it's a little bit disappointing to see a two-goal lead ripped away from the side. Justin and Wilby had an effort cleared off the line to make it 3-1. Unfortunately, that one didn't quite go over. And then Lancaster City were awarded a dubious penalty a few minutes later. Can you talk us through those through those two moments? Yeah, we, we should score first and foremost. We score and it's game over. We, we put it to bed. They've got a big, big mountain to climb. And I think we would have shipped, well, we would have got the three points and pretty confident, but saying that we we have thrown thrown goals away before, like we've, we've proven. But I think that just gives you that little bit extra. Apparently it was close. We'd love to see it back because if it is going, if it does go in, then obviously we know everything's against us. But we should defend better first and foremost. That's that's the starting point. We've only got ourselves to blame. I told them that in the, in the dressing room. It's just not good enough in any way, shape or form because we're in such a good position. You, you just need to do extra to stop the opposition. And for some reason, we keep switching off and it's, it's like, what have we got to do? Can't, can't change the whole whole squad, but something needs needs to change, that's for sure. Yeah, and Harrison Hopper returned from injury today and completed the full 90 minutes for his first appearance since Boxing Day. How do you think he did on his return to first team action? Yeah, he did well, he did really well. Got himself about, he's, he's mobile, comfortable on the ball. He had some some really good good moments within the game, and obviously we, we didn't plan on keeping him on for for as long as as he, he did. But he had to because of other circumstances. We lost lost Ted Ted Lebel, another injury which you know we, we could do without. I'll be honest. Um, so obviously he had to stay on stay on longer than we would have liked. But he put shift in and he's, he's given us all. Yeah, you mentioned that we saw Ted Lavelle go down with a knock in the first half. Is there any more details on that? And then obviously we saw new signing Jacob Lara come into the fray and new centre half, of course. There's, I know you want to discuss something around that, but how do you think he did yeah. on his yeah. debut? Well, Jacob did well, but firstly, obviously, Ted, he's, he's got a bad, bad bruise on his on the side of his foot. It was quite delicate. He couldn't put any pressure on his foot. So we'll have to see how it goes over the next 24, 48 hours, see if it settles down and hopefully it is just bruising because we will be able to manage that, I'm sure. But knowing our luck, it probably won't be the way it's gone with, with injuries and, and luck in the past. So we'll see anyway. Um, but Jacob, yeah, he's, he's coming he's come in on, on loan. So I thought, he, I thought he did well, to be fair, when he came on. Obviously, didn't want to get him on as, as early as that and throw him straight into the fire. Um, but he, he did really, really well. And it's unfortunate, really. Another thing as well, we've, we brought Jamie Sharman in earlier this month. Um, but unfortunately, he's turned around and said he, he didn't really fancy it. He's had one in the right place. So we've had to you know, release him and, and carry on regardless. So that's another unfortunate thing. We think we're, we're building building a side and then you know you get that sort of news and it's, it's like, come on, any chance. But we can only do what we can do and control what we can control. So we'll be looking to get extra bodies in, that's for sure. Which is, I'll be honest, it's proving difficult. You know, teams, teams down at the bottom of last pick really in terms of getting players in so we've got to be mindful of that yeah definitely and then going on to next Saturday February 3rd you're away at Warrington Rylands what work has to go uh, in terms of getting ready for that fixture I think it's more mental than anything having to pick the lads up and, and go again Tuesday in training and it's like the the way we're conceding goals is almost somewhat like you can you can train five days a week and work on it and everyone will be at it. And then you'll get to a Saturday and for whatever reason, players are switching off. 
or not doing the, the job to how they should be doing it. So it's, it's almost like one of those situations where it's a, it's a weird one. But we do need strengthening. We need, do need to bring some 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 extra bodies in. That's that's for certain. Yeah, commiserations today, and uh, thank you for this interview. Good luck next week, Danny. No worries.